Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, look, this Cadet Rookie Cop. We talk about everything, uh, police finances, retirement, pensions, uh, the, just the job in general. And every now and then we throw out a few helpful, useful tips to applicants, cadets, and rookie officers, okay? Today is gonna be an interesting uh, start. It's gonna be an interesting start to a little mini series um, is heavily based off of an article that I wrote for Police One about a month ago. Okay, it's gonna be surviving your first 100 days as a police officer. It's specifically geared toward, again, applicants, cadets, and truly those rookie officers who are about to start their first days on FTO. But look, check it out. Before we get into it, I want you guys to take a time, check the description down below. Click on some of those links, okay? Go check out our website, cadetrookiecop.com. Follow us on Instagram, okay? Follow us on Facebook. We put out a lot of good information, and I promise you, we have something special coming down the pipe in about the next 30 days. You're gonna wanna wish you were a part. You're gonna wish you were a part. But yeah, check those links down below, okay? You guys are gonna have access to all of our books, okay? Whether you're an applicant, whether you're a cadet, you're in the academy, you're a rookie, whether you're a civilian and you're just looking, maybe you're running the neighborhood watch and you wanna keep your community safe, you wanna know how to effectively report crime, we have books and trainings on all of that. If you're stressed out and you're not a good test taker, okay, we just got a pretty awesome partnership with, uh, with a company, and Sergeant Godoy, so he does a whole bunch of different test prep, polygraph prep, psychological prep, everything, okay? So check those links down below. There is nothing but useful information and useful resources down there. And of course, it helps the channel. It allows us to keep doing what we're doing so we can keep putting these videos out on a weekly basis. I appreciate all the subscribers out there. So with all that said, let's get into it. Part one of how to survive your first 100 days as a police officer. Let's go. So, how to survive your first 100 days as a police officer. Look, starting any new job is, it's like, it's like going to a new school, right? You don't know anybody. You don't know what the ground rules are. It, it, it's terrible. I don't know too many people that can honestly say they've enjoyed their first day at a new school. And your first day after graduation, showing up to your patrol station for your first patrol shift on FTO is a lot like going to your first day of school, albeit you're going to have a lot more pressure and there's going to be a lot more expectations. But you're also coming into an atmosphere where there's a group of people more senior than you that are going to have an expectation that you have a more than working familiarity with penal code, policy, patrol tactics. OK, they're going to expect you to have a level of proficiency already. And that, that can be a lot of pressure for rookie officers to deal with. Then on top of it, on top of all of that, then you got to add in the current climate that that we as police officers have to work in. I got to say, look, we are not the Easter Bunny right now. OK, people don't love us like they love firefighters. I don't really think they ever have. But they definitely don't right now. And so you got the climate, you have the expectations and the ill will of certain, certain members of the public. OK, you have the pressures of making sure that you perform to at least the minimum standard of a cadet. And you have the whole first day jitter thing going on. So look, I'm going to help you do this mini series. It's only going to be about maybe four or five parts. I'm going to kind of kind of cut through the noise. Okay, we're going to cut through the noise and it's not going to be a everything fixed. It's not going to be all encompassing, but it's going to be at least a solid roadmap plan that you can just kind of start to think about. So you can start trying to game plan and relax, relax, relax. I promise you, just like when you're fighting, right? If you're really tense, 
you can't get your stuff off, man. If you're tense when you first show up, if you're tense out there on patrol, listen, people pick up on that. Oh, he needs some milk. You're not gonna perform to your best, all right? So let's cover the very first thing. Number one thing, and this isn't an order of importance, it's just the order that it was written in the article that I read, okay? So the first thing that I cover is officer presence. Now, what this ties into, and really what every single part of this mini series is gonna tie into, is your reputation, all right? I've said it before, I've said it in my books, okay? I say it to cadets when I'm at the academy adjuncting, your reputation starts day one. Your reputation, especially in this career, but honestly, in life as well, is going to have a huge effect on the things that you have access to and the things that you don't, the way that people look at you, the way that people interact with you, your reputation starts day one. And the number one thing that you're going to want to keep in mind for your first hundred days surviving as a police officer is your officer presence. What is that image that you are giving off not only to your shift mates and your peers, not only to your FTO and your supervisor, but also to the community? What are you showing? Now, what do I mean by that? Well, look, you're already going to be and probably barring some people who went to the military and did some type of special forces training. You're going to be in some of the best shape that you've ever been in in your life. Right. You just got done graduating the academy. All right. They ran you. They made you. They smoked you, made you do X, Y and Z, bear cross this, that and the other fight sessions, blah, blah, blah. OK, you had to be at a certain level of fitness. So you look a certain type of way. Keep that. Keep that. That is important. That is when people look at you. OK, officer presence is one of the first things on a use of force scale. It's just your mere presence. And so when you show up, OK, and if there's someone bad there who might be thinking about doing you harm, when you get out of that car, instantly they're making a decision. What are they going to do? Are they going to fight? Are they going to run? Are they going to do what the hell you tell them? That's all about officer presence. Also, when you're showing up your first hundred days, look, you got to be spick and span. As we like to call it, you need to be boot ready. Like you're still showing up to the academy. Your boots need to be polished, okay? Your hair and your facial hair need to be within whatever your department's policy standards are, okay? Your uniform, you need to take the time Iron it, crease it, make sure you're smelling good, make sure you brush your teeth, okay? Making sure that you are super presentable. And now look, here's the thing. When you show up, I can almost guarantee you the first day, the first, especially on the first hundred days, we don't got nothing to prove, I promise you. When you show up as a new officer, you're going to see other senior officers who aren't doing those things. OK, their boots aren't going to be polished. Their pants aren't going to be creased. Their shirts aren't going to be creased. OK, they might even be kicking a little bit. OK, their equipment might be dusty and not well kept. But look, that's not you. That's not you. I don't know how senior those officers are, but I promise you it's not their first day. I promise you it's not their first 100 days. I promise you it's not their first year okay so i don't know how senior they are but you aren't in that same predicament their reputation whatever it is good bad in between sparkle glitter dark light whatever their reputation is they've already solidified it they've already solidified it you just coming in as a rook on your first hundred days you don't have a reputation in officer presence when you walk in and you're looking crisp, yeah, people are going to talk about you. They're going to make fun of you. But it's it's from it's from a place of endearment. OK, they're going to be like, oh, look at them boots looking like you fresh out of the academy. But that is a term of endearment. They're looking. They're looking. And if you're busted, you know, we might not say nothing to you, but we're going to say like, man, they showed up looking, looking rough, man. They don't. They're not keeping the standard in the academy. These are the things that are going to say. So already you're going to start off on a on a negative foot. OK, 
And that's really it, okay? First part, officer presence, all right? You want to keep your level of fitness up, okay? And you're going to want to make sure that your equipment's clean, your uniform's clean, it's pressed. You got the academy creases, okay? You got the academy polish on your boots every single day you show up to work. I promise you it's going to pay dividends. It is just as good as putting money away in the bank. I promise you, your reputation starts day one. All right, so tune in next week, all right? We're gonna be going over part two. Part two is not really the second most important, but it's just part two. It's the second thing that you're going to wanna focus on during your first 100 days as a police officer, as a new police officer, okay? Now look, before we get out of here, as always, if you like the video, do your boy a favor, like the video, okay, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't, click the notification bell, and again, hey, if you are an applicant, if you are a concerned citizen, if you are a rookie, heck, if you are a senior police officer, take the time, check our links down below. There is nothing but helpful information and helpful resources down there, okay? Again, check out the site, cadetrookiecop.com. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, all of our social media. Check out our books. we got a whole suite of them. Check out our applicant test prep, okay? We got everything from how to pass the police exam, okay? Psychological prep, polygraph prep. There's a whole bunch of test prep and examination prep resources that we have down below. Take the time, check it out. If you need it, then get it. I promise you, look, hey, we're here to help. We're here to help. I appreciate your time. I'll see you guys on the next one. As always, stay blessed. Y'all have a good week.